Hey everybody, uh, time to show you a cool add-on. I'm just going to give you a, a brief overview. It's uh, Manuel Bastioni's 3D Humanoids. And uh, just go ahead and add your add-on. Uh, to make sure you have it, go to your user preferences, add-ons. In the search field, type in Manuel. And you should have it in there. If not, go ahead and download it from the site and install it the way I've shown you how to install add-ons in the past. And uh, then you'll have this tab down here in your tool panel, Manuel Lab. All right, let's expand it. And it's kind of like the program I showed you a long time ago called Make Human. And you see here, you've got your various things. You've got basic, uh, you've got your male and female characters, you've got your basic races, and then you've got uh, some anime characters you can choose. So let's just go ahead and, and choose a basic character and say in a character. It takes a few seconds. Okay, now we have a character in the scene. And as you can see here, she's in this kind of pose. You can choose under pose, you can choose different poses. All right, so if you wanted to, you could just put the character in the scene, light it, do a render if you just want to have a character in the scene. Uh, of course, if you want to animate it, T-Pose is a good thing. Uh, it has its own uh, armature setup in here, which I'll go into in a little bit. Oops, you can see it turned on there. Uh, and also, let's go to select the mesh and go to your uh, data panel. And you can see here, we've also got some, where are they at here? You've also got some facial expressions here. So let's go ahead and choose different facial expressions. There's quite a few of them. They're all quite good. And it's non-destructive. You just choose these and you just go back and forth to the different expressions and whatnot. Okay, uh, and you can do a similar thing with the character's body itself. You can choose, for example, different types of like ethnicities within kind of sub ethnicities, I guess. All right, and you can choose, for example, to change the body mass and tone here. So you can do some really weird things here with the character's mass, all right? And it, when, if you get too, if it gets too funky here, just go ahead and hit the reset button and you go back to that base mesh there. So you can change things. It's not like Make Human, where Make Human, you can take a base, you can go with sliders and, and morph targets, you can go and create a completely new character. You're pretty much kind of limited to certain characters, but it's actually quite good. Let's go ahead and do a new one. And let's go ahead and add the anime character. You can see the difference. The anime character is quite cool. So as you can see here, it has the big eyes, all that kind of stuff. Let's go to the T-Pose. And what's nice is you can go in here and she's got quite, quite cool expressions. They look like the very prototypical anime expressions. Okay, quite nice. So, uh, and then once you've gotten this character, if you want to go ahead and kind of use it as a Blender character, kind of take full advantage of Blender's animation uh, modeling, uh, animation tools, because uh, I don't think you can actually animate. Let's turn on X-Ray here and see the good pose mode. And turn that on. So you can, you can animate without changing things. If you want, you can go ahead and apply the parameters of shape keys. Because as you can see here, even though I can choose those different, uh, what are they at? the different um, uh, facial expressions, I can't actually animate them with the sliders and stuff because they're not there as shape keys yet. So let's just go ahead and say, apply parameters of shape keys. After a few seconds, you'll see the different shape keys appear in your data tab, and you can go ahead and access them. Now, it's it's it doesn't show up as one to one. Before, remember there was there were uh, expressions like amused and frightened and sad and stuff like that. But as you go through here, you see that in fact you just have expressions, uh, sliders, shape keys for the various pieces of the face, like the eyebrows and the eyes blinking. Okay, and even sliders that move the, uh, the, the position of the irises around, all right? So uh, in order to re you know go back to, as you can see here, these sliders just move 
parts of the mouth around here. So in order to get back to those amused, happy, sad uh, looks to the face, you're going to have to just play around with these sliders and get a combination of them. But, you know, to look that way. But you can, of course, animate these and add drivers to them and uh, create some pretty cool effects. All right. And uh, so that's kind of the intro to it. Uh, like I said, you can you just play around with it. You'll start to get a good feel for it very quickly. There's some uh, documentation here, which goes through you know the basic uh, tips and hint, hints about how to do things. And there's some new stuff coming up. They're going to be adding uh, ability to uh, match cloth clothing models to the actual character and stuff like that. So that's a first look at the uh, Manuel Bastioni's uh, 3D humanoids. Hope you enjoy it.